Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back at World of Disney. Um, nothing major was released today except for like four new plushes from like the Big Feet collection, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now. So, here's one of the four. He costs $26.99. Here's another one right here. And they have plenty of these. It's basically like the whole top row of this that they have like all the new like plushes. And then they have this one as well. But they do have a pretty cool promo going on. Um, if you buy, if you buy uh, one, it's twenty six ninety nine. But if you buy two of them, it's twenty two dollars each. So that's not bad. You can save a few bucks doing that. This youth tutu set was was uh, sixty dollars, but now it's thirty dollars. So it got cut right in half. So make sure you get your little one a tutu, and it lights up too, by the way. Some of the select figurines are also on sale. Uh, if you buy two, it's $15 each. Regular price is $18, so pretty good savings right now. And then here's a look at the figurines. Now, I wonder if it goes for this too. Probably not, probably just like these. It's like the only set they have though. I believe all of these mugs are $15. That's a deal. Look at these, these are like $22.99. Jeez. We'll check into the jack one to see how much that one costs normally. $19.99 for this one. You can get it for $5 off. I did show this on one of my live streams. Uh, they have the, these pins right here. $5 each. And they have a pretty good uh, selection of them. So what I'm trying to say guys is that if you guys are looking for some of the Halloween merch that, that you guys were trying to get before but they didn't want to pay full price, now most of it's on sale. So I'd suggest you guys come and get it while it's still here. Because I'm sure in the few coming weeks it's going to change into Christmas time over here. I'm sure the merch is going to be rolling in just like Halloween stuff did. So, um, oh, I got one more thing to tell you guys. Well, actually I got a few things to tell you because the video just started. But <laughs> um, uh, now when you enter downtown Disney, there's a new uh, like security protocol you got to go through. So now, you know when you used to pass by the dogs? and they would sniff your bags for like, uh, I guess like explosives and, and guns and weapons and, and just things you shouldn't have. Well now they have a machine that does it. You walk through and it can like, I think it can see through your bag. Um, Cause I remember hearing about that same technology that they're using now over there in uh, Walt Disney World. And also uh, Disney Springs, I know they, they use that over there when you enter uh, their properties, I believe. Um, it's just so efficient and, and quick and easy. Uh, and I guess if they do scan something that looks a little bit funny, they'll put you aside and then they'll look through your bag like uh, more in detail. But I did see a few people on the side, but I walked right in because I don't have anything, you know, I shouldn't have. And I just walked right through. I actually got yelled at for taking a picture, but <laughs> uh, I actually took a picture. I'll put it like right, right there. There you guys can see what it looks like. It's pretty cool. You just literally walk through. It looks like a metal detector, but um, just it's a little more sophisticated, I believe, but still pretty cool. And they also brought uh, Halloween snacks now. Marceline's Confectionery finally has Halloween stuff. Uh, I've been waiting for that for so long, but I guess they waited for October for it to happen. Um, it would have been cool if it would have came out yesterday, which is October 1st, but today's October 2nd. But whatever, it's, it's okay. As long as it's out and we get to try some delicious treats today. But I think before we do all that, we're gonna go ahead and just look around the park, see if anything's changed. Uh, a lot of news has been happening this week with uh, reopenings and, and guidelines and all that stuff, but still, everything, seems to be at a standstill because uh, I guess rumors are Newsome had like these guidelines that were just completely unfair and Disney's like uh, just hold off on that and then I guess try reevaluating it or, or think of something else something better because just the ones that he thought of I guess um, they just weren't that fair so over here looks like they're still working on the Emporium it looks like they're putting like the finishing touches on it it looks very nice they've already put like those uh, like those awnings on it um, they have most of the letters on it. They're they're installing the letters that go on like the side uh, to the right. But yeah, it looks really nice. Look at here's a look at the top. Yep, very beautiful. So while we're on the left side of the park, I might as well mention they have not added any more of the uh, distancing markers. It's the same ones, same distance, same amount as last time I was here. But maybe something's changed on the right. We'll see. Yeah, still no markers in the middle section right here. Still nothing. Everything appears to be the same from what we can see out here. Clearly there's work being done inside of the park, but we can't we can't see that from here. So same thing on the right hand side, still no new markers. The same amount is still there. And then same thing from where we look sort of like in the park. This is the best angle we got. Um, everything looks about the same still. And then here's just like a quick like overview of the whole park from the outside. Everything appears to be the same. No new signs or anything. To be honest, ever since Disney announced that they were laying off uh, 28,000 people, 
uh, the, the updates have really, really slowed down a lot. Uh, before that, there was like, you know, new this, new that, new markers, new sanitizing stations, all a bunch of stuff. But ever since I heard that news, it's slowed down a lot. Even with the merch, the merch, the merch has slowed down a lot. Um, I don't know if it's because most of the Halloween stuff's out already. Uh, maybe with the Christmas stuff, it'll it'll pick up again. But right now, it's kind of it's kind of slow. Don't you just love DCA? I miss going like during the summer and then like whenever it's hot, like today. Today would have been a perfect day to go. Just because like when you're at the pier area, like it just feels so great. You ma it makes you feel like you're like at Santa Monica Pier or something. Just something something fun and cool. Like I don't know, just. Gives you really good vibes. So that store here, this is Five and Dime. And if you look at the mannequins, they're all wearing the same exact merch as they have been for like the past few months. So nothing's changed in there. And then to be honest, as far as everything else, it's all been the same. You have the same signs, hand washing stations. Uh, nothing really like different to update over here either. But here's a good shot of Buena Vista Street. You guys want one? I can't wait to go back in there. But that's about it for today's parks updates. Let's move on to the, the Halloween trees now. That's that's got me like super interested. Yeah, I'm actually smiling under my mask. Like I, I've been waiting for those snacks to come for so long. I mean, it's just not Halloween time at Disney if there's no Halloween snacks. So it's not gonna come out too well because like the screen over here is kind of like sunburnt, I guess you can say. But look, now uh, the displays over here at the ticket booth are now displaying like health and safety reminders, and then they're also doing like a like a little sh like. Like a little like a uh, slideshow of like different restaurants over here in downtown Disney and then it says downtown Disney in the end. It's, it's really cool. So here's a look at the Halloween snacks they have here at Marceline's Confectionery. They have this Minnie Mouse one and she's wearing her um, her witch's costume. And they have Ursula. They have a magic mirror. They have Hades and then they have a Rice Krispie Treat of the same one that looks like the apple. But Rice Krispie Treat form. I had to look at them. They didn't have that in the display in the front, but uh, they have a candy corn sugar cookie. So look at all the stuff I actually ended up picking up. I didn't buy all of it, but I did pick up a good amount of it. So I got the two Rice Krispie treats that they have. Magic Mirror, Minnie Mouse. I got Edna, uh, this Hades caramel apple. Look at that. This one's so cool, because you can like, match your Hades spirit jersey to your, your food now. <laughs> that is so awesome. And then this is that cookie I was telling you guys about. They did not have this on like the display at the window, but uh, when you go inside, you can actually see in like the like the display case where they have like all the, the snacks and stuff. Um, it's just way at the bottom in the right hand corner. It's kind of like if you're not looking for it, you won't find it. Um, I was like last minute looking and I found this, but the orange actually caught like the side of my eye and I was like, oh, what is that? And I looked under and then I saw that it was this uh, candy corn uh, cookie. I'm not sure if it tastes like candy corn, but trust me, we're about to find out. Now, like I mentioned, that's Edna, so I'm not gonna try the apple. And then, as far as the Rice Krispie Treats, I might try one of them, because I'm sure they both taste the exact same. They both have chocolate on it. And then, definitely trying the cookie, because I wanna see if it tastes like candy corn, or if it just tastes like a sugar cookie. So I actually have my smart water with me, because I feel like this is gonna get very sugary very quick. I think I'm actually gonna try one of the Rice Krispie Treats first. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys decide which one I should try, so let me know in the comments. Minnie Mouse or Magic Mirror? Now, because this video is not live, I'm going to have to take a guess. I think you guys want me to try the Magic Mirror because you guys don't want me to ruin the Minnie Mouse one. So I'm going to eat this one first. Now, that's very good. And I wasn't really expecting it, but I think... I think that's actually dark chocolate. It tastes kind of bittery, so I'm guessing that's... that's um. I'm guessing this is dark chocolate. Don't quote me on that. I'm not like a, a chocolate professional, but you know what? This makes me actually want to try the Minnie Mouse one now. I mean, it's going to get ruined anyways. So. Let's try this one now. All right, I'm convinced now. Magic Mirror, I think, is dark chocolate. I'm like 80% I'm like sure. And then Minnie Mouse, I think, is milk chocolate for sure. That's, that's for sure. Look at it. It's definitely milk chocolate, and it's so good. I'm not a fan of like bitter tasting chocolate, so dark chocolate I stay away from. That's Edna stuff, so I'm gonna make sure I say this for her because she would love, she would love this. And now, oh my God, look at this, this thing is huge. I know, I know, I'm gonna get a bunch of comments saying that's what she said, I know, I know. But look at that, the thing is big, that's a big cookie. Here's my hand, look. Big. 
I'm sure you guys are all wondering the same thing I am. I want to see if it is candy corn or just like a regular tasting cookie. But let's just take a bite of it. Again, I'm not a professional on like tasting foods. I think there's like a hint of candy corn, but it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. And then the cookie itself is so soft. Like it, man, look. It's so soft, like it didn't even really break. It, it like, it was like a clean bite. It's just like, so softly. <laughs> Sorry for like my horrible demonstrations. It's just, the cookie was like, just, it's perfect. I'll take another bite, look. Definitely come down here and try these things. These things are amazing. They're not as extravagant as like every other year when they have snacks here. They usually have like cupcakes and, and cake pops and all that, all that type of like pastry stuff. But this year they only have like Rice Krispies, apples, and then just this one cookie, which uh, like I said, it's like they were trying to hide it. But once people find out about that cookie, trust me, it's really good. I, I, I think out of everything I tried today, which is like two Rice Krispies and a, <laughs> and a cookie, the cookie was my favorite. It's not too sweet, and then like the cookie is just like perfect. That's for me. That's what does it for me. Now let me try the other side. Actually, let me see if it uh, tastes different on this end. It tastes about the same. It's really good though. The only thing though is that look, it colors your hands. Look at that. It stains you. But overall, the cookie was really good. Make sure you guys get that. Uh, as far as prices, let me get my receipt because I don't really remember the prices. I just, I was just like, give me that, 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 that. I was like, I was like literally a kid in a candy store right now. So this was twelve ninety nine. Magic Mirror, the Rice Krispie, that was five ninety nine. The Minnie Mouse, the the Rice Krispie witch, that one was uh, five ninety nine as well. And then just like the amazing candy corn um, cookie. That was $5.49, so that's not bad. And they even take the annual pass holder discount, so you guys can save a little bit more money. So for like the, for instance, I have the Signature Plus uh, pass, and it took off $2.60 off of the, the Hades Apple, so that was pretty good. Total is $24.70, that's not bad. I mean, I know, I'm, I know a lot of you are like, oh, you're crazy, but you guys remember, this Disney stuff, it's, it's pricey, but it's quality, and I'll be honest, this stuff is delicious. I, I, I enjoyed all of it. Even the, the dark chocolate, like I'm not a fan of it, but it was really good. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, because I want to finish this cookie. This thing is amazing.